Hey there, space adventurers. Are you ready for a journey beyond imagination? Get set to uncover the secrets of weird NASA jobs as we dive into the quirkiest roles in the cosmos. From planet protectors to odor detectives, let's embark on an out-of-this-world exploration together. First stop, the Planetary Protection Officer, the Guardian of Celestial Cleanliness. Imagine this, you're tasked with ensuring that our spacecraft and rovers don't contaminate other worlds. It's not just about keeping our space gear squeaky clean, it's about preserving the integrity of potential extraterrestrial ecosystems. After all, who knows what wonders might be awaiting for us beyond Earth's atmosphere. The role of a planetary protection officer is both awe-inspiring and crucial for our understanding of the universe. Interested? A vacancy has just been announced. Wanna try your luck? But it's not all about stopping our germs from hitching a ride to Mars. These officers are the cosmic gatekeepers, ensuring that our exploratory missions abide by strict sterilization protocol. Next on our journey through the cosmos, the Planetary Defense Officer, humanity's shield against the cosmic unknown. Picture this, a rogue asteroid hurtles towards Earth, threatening to unleash devastation on a global scale. Who do we call? The Planetary Defense Officer, of course. These cosmic sentinels are tasked with monitoring and tracking near-Earth objects, or NEOs, ensuring that we're prepared for any potential impacts. It's a job that requires vigilance and quick thinking, as the solar system is far from the tranquil place it may seem. NEOs are a reminder that our corner of the universe is a dynamic and ever-changing landscape where cosmic collisions can occur at any moment. But fear not, for our planetary defense officers are equipped with the latest technology and techniques to detect and deflect these cosmic projectiles. <laughs> Let's now check out the fascinating role of the Chief Sniffer, spearheaded by none other than George Aldrich himself. As a chemical specialist at NASA, George wears many hats, one of which is volunteering on NASA's odor panel. But what exactly does this entail? George's primary mission is to ensure the habitable areas of the International Space Station ISS, are free from disagreeable or offensive odors. Imagine being cooped up in a space station for months on end. Maintaining a pleasant environment is crucial for astronaut productivity and mission safety. That's where George and his team of five volunteer experts come in. They conduct blind smell tests, meticulously rating each material on a scale from 0 to 4. Anything scoring over a 2.5 fails the test and is deemed unfit for space travel. But George isn't just your average sniffer. He's earned a slew of notable titles, including Nasal Nought, Master Sniffer, NASA Nose, and even Nostradamus. His dedication to ensuring the ISS smells as fresh as a daisy hasn't gone unnoticed. In fact, the smell test protocol was implemented after the 1967 Apollo Saturn mission fire, highlighting the importance of safety protocols for materials on board spacecraft. George's contributions haven't just stayed within the confines of NASA. He's been featured in Stan Lee's Superhumans documentary series and received NASA's prestigious Silver Snoopy Award for his outstanding contributions to flight safety and mission success. And now, venture with us into the realm of astrobiology, where scientists are on the quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Meet the alien hunters, intrepid explorers searching for signs of extraterrestrial life in the most unlikely of places. From the depths of the ocean to the frozen wastes of Antarctica, these scientists are pushing the boundaries of our understanding of life's potential. After all, if life can thrive in the harshest environments on Earth, who's to say it can't exist somewhere else in the cosmos? But their quest doesn't end on our home planet. With missions to Mars and Jupiter's moon Europa underway, we're closer than ever to discovering whether we truly are cosmic outliers or part of a vast interstellar community. Finally, let's get to the world of space law, where legality meets the final frontier. Imagine navigating the complex web of international treaties and agreements governing humanity's exploration of space, just free from the shackles of terrestrial disputes. A daunting task indeed. 
Space lawyers are the unsung heroes, ensuring that our cosmic endeavors remain peaceful and equitable. From drafting treaties to handling liability cases for space debris damages, their work is essential for maintaining order in the cosmos. Take, for example, Operation Morning Light, where space lawyers played a pivotal role in legal proceedings leading to clearing up the aftermath when a Soviet satellite scattered radioactive debris over Canada. Their contributions extend beyond legal battles, too. They've developed agreements like the Rescue Agreement, which mandates that nations assist astronauts in distress, a lifeline in the vastness of space. These legal principles aren't just theoretical. They have real-world implications. Media portrayals of liability for space debris damages align with space law conventions, highlighting the importance of these legal frameworks. And for aspiring space lawyers, there are ample education opportunities, from engaging in clinics like the Technology Law and Public Policy Clinic to addressing complex space law and technology policy issues. So, the next time you gaze at the stars, remember the legal minds working tirelessly to keep our cosmic endeavors on course. And there you have it, fellow cosmic travelers. Weird NASA jobs, where the ordinary meets the extraordinary in the vast expanse of space. Which of these bizarre roles surprised you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Keep exploring the cosmos.